Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. So this is my last egg for Easter, okay? So I know we have past Easter, but this one was so much fun to do. I needed to share it with you because it may be on an egg, but this is something that you can do on a rock or you could do it on a canvas or maybe wood, anything that you wanted. It, it was just a very fun, easy design to do, and I really wanted to share it with you, even though it was on an Easter egg. So we'll call it a spring egg. How's that? So basically what I'm doing is I'm just sketching on um, some flowers, and I'll show you in a minute why I made a big circle, and then I drew in a little circle that was completely off-center, um, inside that circle. Uh, basically, this is an easy way to be able to get your petals in and you have your petals that are the bigger petals. So um, they are on one side of the flower and then you have where your little petals go on the other side of the flower. So you'll see that in a minute. I'm just sketching this all along with pencil. Um, and now I'm going to paint in the petals. So you'll see what I mean is I'm using the outer edge of that big circle and I am bringing the petals down to a point to that little circle. That little circle is going to be the center of your flower. And once you have all the petals on, it looks really, really cool. So it's just a very quick, simple tips and tricks for me to you. Uh, on how you can um, do your flowers this way and they're very quick and easy to do. So um, I'm using a lot of pastel colors on this one. Um, I really wanted to try a different palette. I'm usually going for bright and bold colors. Um, love my metallics and my glitter paints. This one I'm totally staying away from that. So I'll have no gems, no glitter paint, um, no metallic paint. This is all going to be pastels. And that's why I wanted to do it this way and still show you even though it was on an Easter egg, because I could see this as a painting on even a wooden box, like a memory box or um, anything. You could do this technique on anything. Just because I'm, I'm doing it on an egg does not mean that you have to do it on an egg. So, what I do is I keep uh, going around with the big, the big circles that I've done here um, and just painting my petals on um, all over and just keeping in mind that they're all going to come down to that center circle or it's off center circle um, to give you yourself the different sizes of the petals. Uh, now all the colors that I do use in this tutorial will be listed in the description below. So that includes the brand name and the actual paint name. Um, keep in mind too that uh, I have a lot of paint uh, from years gone by. And one of my favorite paints that I use quite a bit is called Napa Red. And it's no longer made. So. When I do list um, the colors down below, please keep in mind that they may not be available anymore. Um, I just found that out recently. So I have to find a new color that can replace my Napa Red. And uh, I'm sure I will uh, find one that I really enjoy and definitely promise you that I will be buying like four or five bottles of it so I don't run out. But um, that's just for me. But yes, I will list all of the, uh, the names and the brands of the paints that I use in this tutorial in the description below. There's also a lot of other really good information down there. So, so while you're down into the description box, make sure that, uh, you go through everything that I have listed there. I've got some, um, some links for tools um, some from the Happy Dotting Company, which is where I get my molds from for my, uh, my rocks, my art stones. Um, there's also a link for the Dotting Center. That's where I purchase my, some of my stencils and some of my, um, painting tools. So like my dotting tools, 
and make sure when you're there that you use my discount code. Uh, it's also listed in the description below. Um, what else do I have down there? I've got links to uh, different um, places in Amazon that uh, I purchase things like my finger daubers, uh, fine lining brushes, if you wanna go that way instead of making your own. I do have tutorials on that, on how to make your own blending brush and your fine lining brush, and those are also in the description below. Like I mean, I mean there's so many um, really great pieces of information in that description box, so make sure you check that out. There's also links to um, all of my other socials, so um, my Facebook page, my Instagram, um, and of course my Etsy shop. So uh, I will be posting some new things that I have not videoed. So I'm going to be posting those next week. Um, so this is, uh, today is um, April, oh gosh, I don't know. Uh, it's somewhere around April 8th. Well, let's go with that because <laughs> I... I don't have a calendar right near me right now. So um, next week, I will be posting um, some more uh, uh, designs on rocks uh, in my Etsy shop. Okay, so that took me a, a little bit to get out and it felt difficult, but it shouldn't have been. <laughs> so I'm, I apologize for that. As I was yammering on, you watched me paint on some leaves. Now, the color that I'm using for the leaves is like a... Um, an aqua color or a teal color and um, I'm really going with the pastels like I just I really wanted to try this out um, it seems to be a trend or maybe it was a trend and I'm just getting into it now I don't know um, but definitely loved how this turned out with the colors that I chose um, it, it's just it's very pretty and I really really wanted to share it with you so I'm sorry it's on an easter egg but I'm not sorry that it's on an easter egg um, this is another way that you can do uh, flowers and I did these just sort of sporadically all over the place um, and making these little petals and bringing them all into the center and they're just really small and all they are is the same color as the big flower petals mixed in with a little bit of white uh, just to give it that it's the same kind of a flower but it's smaller so I wanted to make it a little bit lighter so I'm doing another one that right now and you can't see me do it because it's at the bottom um, and now I'm just going to go in with a bit of a darker teal color and I'm just adding three little leaves on these little flowers and then I will eventually go in and I'll put stems uh, connecting everything together. And it just looks so pretty. So I hope you give it a try because it is a lot of fun. Um, and I just, I could not share it with you. I had to get it out. So I'm sorry that, again, it's on an Easter egg. But no, no, I said we're going to call it a spring egg. So it's a spring egg. This is what we're doing. We're painting on a spring egg. Okay. <laughs> I'm so Sorry guys, I feel like I'm a little bit giddy. The warm weather is starting to come back and sunshine has been absolutely beautiful. And I'm just loving these longer days with more of the sunshine. So let me know in the comments below how you're feeling um, with uh, the more, more sunshine that we're getting in wherever it is that you live. Um, or that maybe it's starting to get warmer and it's starting to like, how is your mood feeling as this new weather is starting to come in? I mean, spring's here, summer's just around the corner. I mean, who could ask for a better time of year, really? So just let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you here and join us with this tutorial today. Um, make sure that uh, you give me the thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell because it'll post or it will send you a notification every time I post something new so uh, and you don't want to miss anything so make sure that you do that um, so you'll see there's a, um, a little sort of flower bud that I did there uh, and I just added a, a couple of little strokes of leaves there 
and I do this all the way all over all around so now what I'm going to do is add these little wisps some of them I do two some of them I do three but they're just coming out of the center of the flower along the the uh, petals and I'm just making them very short so it sort of gives a bit of an illusion that um, these petals are actual their flower petals it's just a little piece of detail that just makes it um, give you that visual of them being a flower so sometimes it's those little tiny details that um, you just throw in and they seem so simple but they just make it pop they make it work and it makes your beautiful piece of artwork into a masterpiece and people go how did you do that it looks so beautiful and you just keep it a secret it's between you and I okay all right <laughs> and another secret I'll let you in on this design was created using only four colors. Okay, let's say five, because the the uh, color that I used inside the petals for the little dark, I don't know, sprigs or whatever, that's totally different. But yeah, so the majority of this is just based off of the colors um, and just by adding white, getting different shades. So it's another little secret, tip and trick, whatever you want to call it, but that's there too. So I go around, I do all these leaves. Um, I do whatever is a light color, I put a dark color accent on it. And whatever is a dark color, I put a light color accent on it. So um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So the, the these leaves here are um, sort of like a medium color teal. So I'm using the darker teal color uh, to put in the veins of the leaves. Um, but when I do the smaller leaves that are darker, I use the lighter color of the teal. So that goes for like good. This is a good spot to show you right now. Well, it was um, <laughs> the, the little bud that I had painted on there. There you go right there. Those dark parts um, will become they'll have like a little light line inside kind of like what I'm doing with those leaves right now it's just to accent it that's all um, it's to break up the solidness of whatever if it's the leaf or I did the same thing with the petals uh, by putting in the darker wisps there so it's just a simple um, a simple thing to do uh, and it just totally breaks everything up and it gives the eye something more to look at and more pleasing to the eye. So um, I do this all the way around. I, I just uh, slop on the paint, I guess. Not really slop it on, but make sure that I've got everything covered. Um, and once it's fully dry, I let it dry for 24 hours. I take an eraser and I erase all of the pencil marks. And then I don't resin this. I just coat it with a glaze or like a glossy glaze um, because I didn't really want to resin it. Um, and I'll be honest with all you folks that I didn't know how to resin it without getting some kind of a bump or something not covered because it's an egg. How do you, how do you stand it up to let the resin uh, cure evenly? If you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. Leave them in the comments below. Uh, I took a long time trying to figure it out and I just couldn't. So I just used a glaze. Um, so anyways, I just fill in a little bit of the white spaces with a little bit uh, lighter leaf and it's finished. So there you have it, folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.